hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. I have a serious problem with finding adorable clothes on Amazon. I'm addicted. And yes, we're doing another fall haul today. This is kind of more like a winter haul because I live in Texas and I doubt I'll be able to wear some of these super chunky sweaters for fall. But we're still gonna call it a fall haul because I'm sure that I'll be doing a winter haul too. But I am pumped to try on all of these things. I think there's a total of 21 items. I think so. And I am so pumped to try them on. But let's do it! So now I have to take everything out of the package. It's a lot. Okay, so the very first thing that I tried on were these jeans. And I got one pair of jeans or one pair of pants, period. And then the rest are dresses, sweater, shirts. So I'm going to be wearing these jeans throughout the entire video while I'm trying on all the tops, except for the dresses, but duh. Um, but I'm really glad that I got these jeans because they fit really well. They're a size medium. I wanted to size up. I normally wear a size small, but I wanted to size up just to be on the safe side. I hate getting stuff that's too small because it just makes me feel bad. But I really like these jeans. They're high rise and I love, these are real buttons. I love all of the buttons. They're super stretchy. So I love that. They are skinny jeans. I know that those aren't the fad these days, but I really don't even care. I love skinny jeans still, and you can fit them in your boots really well. I really do like these. Um, they have them in a dark wash and a light wash, but I really love the dark because it can pretty much go with anything. They're stretchy, but they also kind of feel like they suck you in. So let's try the top side. Right, this is the first top. Sorry, it's a little wrinkly. As you can see, I just took it out of the Amazon package, but I thought that it would be a different material because of how it looked online. I didn't read the description and I probably should have, but I actually like this better. It's more of like a cotton material, but it's stretchy. I thought it was gonna be some sort of like chiffon type of material. I think I'm saying that right, but I really love it. The detail in the arm is so pretty. It's got like a little peekaboo lace spot. And I did size up on this as well. I got it in a size medium because for fall and winter clothes, I just like them to fit a little bit baggy. I don't want to be wearing stuff that's too tight, you know? I just want to be comfortable. So, but what's new? <laughs> so I really like this shirt. I feel like it's really cute with these jeans, but I could also wear this with leggings or I don't know, something else, but I think that it's really cute. I like it. I absolutely love this cropped sweater. It is so soft. It comes in a ton of different colors. I specifically remember a white, I think a tan, black and red, but I should have got it in another color. I should have because I really like it. And it actually is kind of adjustable. So if you like a super, super crop, you can like put it up higher or lower because you can tie it yourself. So you can like bring it down a little bit if you want to or adjust like the boobage if you want to, if you don't want to show too much, if you want to be a little bit more modest. I'm pretty sure that everything from this haul was under 25, maybe even under $20 because they usually have like a coupon code that you can click and then whenever you get to the cart, it takes it off. So always be sure to do that. But of course, I'll be linking everything in the description for you guys. So I sat down to edit this video that you're watching right now, and I realized that some of the footage, I was completely out of focus and blurry, so I'm just going to reshoot that part of the video, and then we'll go back to the original video. So if that's confusing because my hair is different and stuff may be different, that's what happened. But I also got this beige, lightweight, super basic, T and it's got a cuff right here at the wrist so that way it doesn't fall down for my shorter armed people because I am and I really like that and appreciate that. I do like the one pocket right here to just kind of give it something and I like that you can un unbutton this if you want to so you can wear an undershirt with it. You could also dress this shirt up or down because it's just super basic so I love that let's go on to the next one okay for this one it's just a really cute comfy oversized sweater so i love oversized sweaters because they're just so cozy and just make me think of fall but this one also has the capped sleeve right here so that way it won't fall down and i really like that it's got some really pretty detailing right here too 
So I love that as well. I just really love a good oversized sweater. It's just super comfy, but yeah. I think it's really cute. Right, and then I just got this black sweater. It's a really lightweight sweater. I wouldn't even really call it a sweater. It's more like a shirt. It's made out of that waffle material. And it also, again, has the little cuff right there. It's really comfy, and I love the detailing around the neck right here with the wooden buttons. And I just love that it's a little bit oversized, so it's just comfy and nice for fall. I also thought that this one was really cute. It's kind of a mixture between like a pink color and a beige color, but it's made out of that waffle -y material again. And I just think it's really cute. It's kind of, you know, just simple, but has some pretty detailing. So I like the cow neck. It kind of will keep your neck a little bit more warm during the like later fall months. And then I love the wooden buttons on it as well. See, it's got little buttons on there. And then this part right here is super flowy, so it's good for covering up the belly, so it would be a perfect Thanksgiving shirt, I think. But all in all, I think that it's really cute. And I probably wouldn't pair this with shorts, but you know, this was my editing outfit. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite sweater I've ever owned. I know that's dramatic. What in the Gilmore Girls? Do y'all see this? I feel like this is the perfect fall sweater. Like, I'm just gonna go outside and jump in a pile of leaves. I'm going to get my pumpkin spice. I'm going on a brisk walk. The arms are normal length on this. I just rolled it up once, but I actually think that it looks really cute rolled up. It's like striped right here, but then there's some like braided patterns over here and then it's crossed right here and straight in the back. So it's just different, simple and different. I really like it. I think it's pretty elegant, but let's try on the next one. Whew. I really like this shirt. So it's not a sweater, it's a blouse. And it's kind of made out of that like chiffon kind of material, but it's also a little bit stretchy, not too much, but just a little bit. I love the baggy sleeves again, and then that it's small around your wrist, so that way it's not gonna fall down and make you look funky, like you're just one shape. But this one has some shape to it. You could wear it with all kinds of different things. If you wore like Ooh, like a leather kind of like pencil skirt with it and tuck the, oh, that would be so cute. I don't know where I think I'm going. I feel like I have an office job or something. I need to start just dressing up to walk over to my office down the hall. I feel like the cut's very pretty. It's just not a super deep neck, so it's very modest. And it's just pretty. And the material feels great. I am so impressed with Amazon, seriously. Like the things that I've been getting off of Amazon are much nicer than the boutique items that I've been getting. And I love to shop small too. I'm not saying buy everything on Amazon by any means, but it is very fast and easy. And you know, with COVID, a lot of things are closing. It's weird restrictions. You can't try on clothes certain places. So Amazon and online shopping is just kind of like where it's at right now. Let's try on the next one. This sweater. Is, it's perfect. Like this is all, this is like a Hallmark sweater too. So it's just super pretty. You can show off your decollete. And you could wear a super cute, like chunky bralette underneath it with really pretty lace right here. That would be so pretty. You could also wear this with leggings. This is leggings friendly because it's so long. It's just so versatile. I feel like you could do a lot of things with this sweater, but I love the color, the pinks, the reds, the oranges, the nudes. That's my palette. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I've got the candle going in the background. I'm like, what is this? Is it fall? Is it autumn? Autumn? Are you here? Not quite. It's still 88 degrees outside, but it's coming soon, okay? I'm just trying to speak it into existence. I still have quite a few things to try on, so let's do it. This is a magical candy corn sweater. The reason I got this is because, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but my best friend had her baby, and so she had a girl. So Luxie and Baby May are gonna be best friends, and we plan on going to a pumpkin patch for May's little first pumpkin patch adventure. 
and I really wanted to wear this shirt to take pictures. <laughs> so that's the reason why I bought this shirt originally because I think it'd be so cute at a pumpkin patch, but just all fall in general. The oranges, the grays, the little creamy color, it's perfect. So the colors are just so pretty, so fall. There's a hood on it. I'm sold. You know, I was sold whenever I saw it on Amazon. That's why I bought it. I love the color of this one. Like the burnt orange color, super folly again. This sweater is a lot more light. So if it's not a cooler day or if it's during the day, you can wear this one. It's made out of that waffle material again. Super pretty. And then it ties a bow in the back. You can tie a bow. It's still a little bit wrinkly from being in the Amazon package, but it also has like a cuff at the sleeve so that way it doesn't fall down too much. I think it's a perfect length because it's tied at the bottom so it kind of stays wherever you put it. So you could have it more like straight if you wanted to, or you could pull it up so it would have a little bit of like comfiness. You have a little bit more room. <laughs> Let's try on the next one. Another like basic shirt and made out of that waffle material again super cute cozy I love that it's textured. I'm styling it the way that it was styled in the Amazon picture So she did kind of like I think it's called a French tuck where you tuck in the front but not the back So if you tuck in just the bottom part of this one and kind of let it Hang you can have a little bit of like a flowy shirt or you could take it all the way out like this and style it However, you like but this is just like without it being styled in any way you can wear it with some cute black leggings I really like this shirt as well. I know that I keep saying I really like everything, but I really do I mean, I gotta be honest here and like I said before everything just feels like it's made really well I feel like it's a good staple piece too So you could dress it up dress it down if you want to and it's super comfy So I did get this shirt in two colors. I just realized um, the other one that I have was like that tan colored one and it's so comfy. I'm so glad that I got this in two different colors, honestly, because it's really comfy and with browns, you can wear more like white, pink, I don't know. I think it's good to have something that's like basic in a light color and a dark color so that way you can mix and match it with your wardrobe. But I really like this shirt. It's just super comfy. I mean, it's comfy enough that you could wear it as pajamas. I don't have any more shirts to try on the rest or cardigans and dresses. So I'm gonna go ahead and try those on. I just put on a black tank top that I had in the closet to wear with all the different cardigans. So this one can actually be worn like a sweater. If you button it all the way up, it will like cover you. You can kind of wear it off the shoulder or you can open it up and let it be like a full on cardigan. Um, I really love how versatile this is too and I love the chunky buttons on it. I think that's super cute too. I don't have a lot of chunky sweaters because I have broad shoulders and I always thought if I wore chunky sweaters it would just make me look way bigger and it doesn't if you buy the right ones that fit your body better. You can wear it like a cardigan if you want to which I think this way is super cute too. I think that this would pair really well with like a pink, like a light pink or even a white but it's so cute it's so like oversized i did get this one oversized as well even though it said that it was already oversized you can fold up the sleeves if you want to but you really don't have to i do like the way that that looks though with this sweater so it all just depends on your taste but i love that you can kind of change these up a little bit and like i said everything that i got is definitely under 25 dollars but um some items were way cheaper than that so be sure to check out the description if you are interested in buying anything because i found all the good deals for you i'm gonna be completely honest here i might have messed up on this one because i've had longer cardigans in the past but like i was saying before like my body shape is not like the average person so it's not going to look like the same thing on me as it did the model which it normally isn't going to look that way anyway but since i have the broader shoulders and i'm sure these longer cardigans don't usually look great on me so i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to keep this one but it is cute, like I all around I do like it, but I don't, I'm not really sure if it fits my body shape well. If you have any ideas on how I can like fix it up, let me know and I'll try something different. But it is still wrinkled from the Amazon package, so maybe that's why I'm thinking that too. I do like it, just I don't know if I like it on me. 
because it kind of makes me feel like shapeless. It needs some shape to it. So maybe if I were to not wear pants with it, but instead wear a skirt or a dress underneath, that might help break it up a little bit. But I do really think that it's cute. Let's move on to the next one. This one, this one I love. I can handle this because it doesn't close at all. So it's just straight up open and open cardigan or whatever you would call this. I think a cardigan and it has pockets. Y'all know I love the pockets. It's super lightweight. So you could wear this on a day that's not super cold, like more fall type of weather. But I of course love the pattern. I have to have cheetah print everything. Cheetah or leopard, I'm still not quite sure what this print is. I think this is cheetah. But anyway, let me show you guys up close the material. It feels really well made again. It's just super thin and airy, feels nice. But this is like the sleeve length on me. It's actually pretty perfect on me because whenever I drop my hands, it goes down to like my thumb, like thumb knuckle. So it's a pretty good length, I feel like. It's really cute. I like this cardigan a lot. This one's super cute too and is so soft. Like it feels like a hug. I do love this one. I don't care what it looks like. It's super comfy. So I'm going to wear it no matter what. But it has pockets again. Love the pockets. But it's, it's very lightweight but super soft. I really love the colors on it. So we've got like a gray color right here. My camera's not focusing. Hello? Okay, there we go. We've got a gray color right here, white, pink, and then it just alternates down the sides. But it's so soft. I wish you guys could feel it through the camera because it is incredibly soft. And I love, like I'm a texture gal. I love the soft stuff. I love feeling comfortable. That happened to me after baby. I just stopped caring about what it looked like and started caring more about what it felt like and if it was comfortable or not. And so now I'm getting more into the, I want both. I want to look good and I also want to feel good. So comfy. <laughs> I'm very happy with this cardigan. So all the cardigans are over. I have two dresses left and then we'll be done. So thank you for holding on if you're still watching this video, but there's still some good things to come. I thought that I was going to be really disappointed in this dress because like I felt of it and it was super thin. But it is so soft and for whatever reason these like ruffles, ruches, whatever they're called on the side, they just really make me feel a lot better. Like, I don't know, I feel more comfortable in this dress and it's very lightweight so pretty perfect for me actually because I'm pretty hot natured so wearing a dress like this normally would make me super hot but since it's so lightweight and soft I don't think that I'll mind it. I could 100% go to sleep in this dress. It is so soft. I have one dress to try on and then I'm done and so far I've just loved just about everything. Alright, here's the last dress. I think that it's really comfortable so far. It's super soft. It's like those shirts that I was wearing before with the buttons right here, but in a dress form. So the sides like this, they're fitted for your wrist and then they're just a little bit more flowy and it's more flowy like within the rest of the dress. It does have little pockets right here. It's still a little bit wrinkly from the packaging as well, but I think it's a cute dress. I could also wear one of those cardigans over it. Let me try on a chunky one. Oh yeah, I could definitely like wear it with like a cute little cardigan. I could even button a couple of them up right here. And it just has like a base layer to the outfit and then I can add a cardigan on top or whatever. But I feel like it's really cute, super fall -y. Okay, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching all of the outfits. If you made it this far, Thank you, seriously. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. Also be sure that you're subscribed with the bell notification on. If you don't put the little bell notification on, then YouTube still won't notify you whenever I upload new videos. So make sure that you have that on. And be sure you're following me over on Instagram. That's Mama Tried Official. And of course, I'll be linking everything in the video description and probably some other goodies for you guys. So be sure to check that out. I am almost to 5,000 subscribers. By the time I post this video, I may actually have 5,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to everyone who supports me and my dreams. And I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.